In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with cinematics. Want top five entertainment in under 40 minutes? Then stick around. <laughs> hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasas Bay, where the rain is gently falling, and we're looking in on the Yacht Club District here in Pangasas Bay, the East Bay. There's a lot to this build today, so let's just jump right on in. We're gonna start by building out a breakwater that's gonna come out here in this general area, and then we're gonna tuck a little marina back in here. We'll have our Yacht Club itself, very high-end and sophisticated, right in this space over here. We're gonna build a nice, elegant shopping district in here. We're gonna extend this shoreline out a little bit. We're gonna put in some piers and some keys and canaling that's gonna go on in there. Up on these hills up here, we've got some medium and high density residential that's gonna sit overlooking the bay there. We're gonna drop a little college in in this space right here. And then we're gonna put our high school right back in here. So we've got a lot to dive into today. Now, just as a reminder, we are a new channel. So if you see something you like today, leave a comment, chip away at that like button, and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the happenings here in Pangasas Bay and the Grand Vanillica series in general. All right, with that as a backdrop, let's do this. We're gonna start with the Marina District area, just the little, uh, the Harbor Marina, and we're gonna have to start with putting in a, like a break wall of some sort. I want to start with a large platform for us to put a decorative element on the end of it. I'm going to grab maybe about a meter or so above sea level. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to place that platform right about in this area here. I have to be really careful to not get too far out into the harbor because there's actually, I think there's a bug in this space. If you draw a line straight out here from this little peninsula, there appears to be some sort of a water generating area out here and it always floods anytime you put some land out here it floods the land so we're hopefully we're, we're close enough i don't know we'll find out shortly if it starts flooding that land over there we know we got too far out but we might be okay that was the first brush uh, that was at uh, 350 let's take the second brush down to 300 and i'm going to take the strength down to about 20. And I want to just kind of gently press down on the center of this. Oh, before I do that, though, I should probably try and figure out where the center of this whole thing is. So let's just draw a line maybe from there across to there. That's 260. Okay, so let's go out 130-ish. Let's call it, yeah, somewhere in this range. So I'm going to say 128 is probably good. We're going to, we're going to come out 128. We're just going to go up 72. Just want to create a guideline. 72 out, 72 out. We'll blow up one of these sides here. 72, you get the idea. So we're creating a, a nice target, if you will, for us to do our raising and lowering of the water. So we'll use that as our target. Okay, so now that we've taken our brush size down to 300, we're gonna push down ever so slightly on this centerpiece. So we're gonna make this go down. And you can see in doing so, we have taken our surface below sea level. Now, if I keep pressing on that just to try and flatten it out, will it jeopardize that seawall? It looks like we might get a little bit of flooding in there. So now we need to pause the game, take our brush size down to 200. And I want to grab a higher elevation, uh, something like this up here. Go back to our center, hit right in the bullseye, push that out. All right, let's see if that did the trick. Now we're going to come out here, we're going to go out 84, we're going to come up. Yeah, we're set, we're in there. All right, let's see if we can bring that around now. We did it. Okay, now we made a great little, uh, great little island piece there. And I think that's going to be pretty sharp. And I like the way that looks. So let's now attach that to the shore if we can. I'm gonna start the game here and we're gonna grab this level terrain tool and we're gonna grab this height up above and we're gonna draw a line right back in to this direction here. You know, create a nice broad kind of a plateau for us to get our attachment piece in there. And we're gonna then come back in with this 150, use the same 150, and we're gonna come in and grab the level terrain down below 
and create a channel running right down the middle of this. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Okay, now what we can do, I'm going to pause the game, is come back in. Let's see if I can get a hundred in there. We're going to grab this one and just drive this straight back towards our shore. Giving us just a little bit of a gap. So that we can put our raised walls in there. And if I come back in with a small, small brush size and grab this level down here, just work our way back in. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Come on this side and do the same. Okay. Yeah, that might work. And then I want to grab a path that's just can be a straight line running out here. Let's go there. We'll go about there. And then we'll see if we can spawn off of that line here. We'll see if we can match, mirror up that line and bring our sidewalk out here. That's going to act in a in a key wall fashion. You can see it's that's pretty level, but we have to do some tidying up with the uh, you know with the landscape. So let me tackle that for us real quick. Okay, now can we bend those in? We have to clear out this water. And now we have to come back in here and depress that again. Okay, we've got that wall put in now. And now the next thing we have to do is tear back the, uh, tear back the little buttresses and let's get in there and see if we flood out. I'm going to grab a nice low elevation here, somewhere around there, and just start peeling this back, see what happens. We'll go ahead and get the game running. There we go starting to take shape and then in that little inner marina here we're going to want to make it nice and shallow because i want it to be this pretty turquoise water in there come out here grab this elevation push in like that it's just that little slip of an inlet there i like that then we're going to come back bring our brush down to 20 Grab that elevation, push that into there, just to make sure that it is still there. We'll carve this back just a little bit, just to have it look a little more gentle. Yeah, and now we can increase our brush size to 50, and we're gonna paint out that surface of that inner marina. Ooh, yeah, I like where that's going. That's gonna be cool. All right, now we wanna build in our yacht club. Our Yacht Club is going to feature a piece that is the, what is it called? The Rock Musician Mansion. That's going to be our clubhouse. And I want to set it up so that it's perpendicular to this. But I'm going to come out here about 120 uh, meters. I'm going to draw a road out 120. And I'm, the only reason I'm doing that is just because I want to sort of frame this up. Yeah, it's pretty centered in that space, I think. So let's go ahead and drop that in there. And now I can come back in here and delete this road. And I'll probably delete the other road as well. Because what I want to try and do is create a yeah, more of a like a decorative loop, if you will. So if I find the center of that building, let's see, let's turn off this. Yeah. And come out, come out 48 meters. And then now we can start to build an oval, if you will. What do we say? 48. So yeah, let's do a little longer than a little wider than long. Nice. Now we've got a nice little oval that comes in here. And I think it'll be a grand entrance to our yacht club. And now with those roads in place, we can come back in and drop in our tennis courts. Just grabbing a regular two lane road, come out about about that far. Just run this road right on out just so we have access coming down there. And then I'm going to grab tennis courts. Those are in the sports parks. Turn on all of our snapping. Uh, if I can squeeze that in there and then put a second one in here. 
Ooh, is there space for a third one? There is. There's just enough room. So we could have three tennis courts in there, which I think is going to be very elegant. One of the other assets I want to bring in here is, is a pool. You know, you gotta have, if you're going to have a clubhouse, you got to have a pool. There you go. Ooh, and it fits right in that space that we already had defined. I might want to come in here and take this road and bring that out along the back here. Well, let's see here. If I snap to the existing geometry there, I can bring this road out. And let's see, does that fit? It does. And then let's grab the pool. See, so if I put that pool in there, now we've got a nice yacht club. <laughs> so the next thing I want to bring into this area is a radio mast. And I thought, there's a little lump bump right here. Let's take that, terraform it up. And let's just bring this up a little bit. Yeah. When I think about harbors, they often have like a like a harbor master. So you want to be able to radio out to the boats uh, to let them know that their dock space is ready and, and such. So let's see here. If I put that in into this space, then we can come back in here and terraform this away. Let's see here. If I just bring this slope down, okay, like so, we'll bring our little alley road up there. Now sit tight. Let's run across. There was a little house, I think, somewhere that I had uh, just stashed. Yeah, one of the original props. So I'm going to grab this old mill ruins. <laughs> and I'm going to bring that over and drop that in next to the, uh, yeah. I put that up there. Yeah, there you go. Now we've got a little Harbor Masters uh, cottage up there. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to grab this shoreline here. We're going to do some terraforming. We're going to grab this little space because I want to be able to make a nice little area that juts out into this bay. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to do so just by bringing this out like so. Now let's continue to terraform that out. Now we'll grab that gravel road. And we're just going to cut right straight across. Just see how that, see how that shapes up about there. That's fine. We'll bring it back straight in here because I want to try and preserve this little rugged space there. All right, so now I can come back in with my terraforming tools. And we're going to go right into this space. Try and run that right along the center of that road just to keep it consistent. Okay, and then I can come back in, maybe take a smaller brush size and a much lower elevation, say there, and we'll start cutting it back from that road. All right, I peeled back that road that was closest to the water, and I'm going to come out 72, and I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to meet that one. So that looks good. And then I'm going to come out, let's call it 32, and then I'll create this road coming up, and then I'll come out 72 from there, and then I'll come up no, 30, not 24, I guess it doesn't really matter, but uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to bring this all the way up. Yeah, that'll give us a, a space where we can start to build out kind of some larger areas that cut through here, and we'll put some housing down the middle of it. All right, cool. What we'll do now is we'll come in here and we'll cut out these little grooves, like so, and we'll grab our landscaping tool. We'll grab an elevation that is suitable, and I want to keep it fairly shallow, right, somewhere in there. Decrease our brush size just so that we're not tearing back too much, and then I'll come through here like so. And cut away those little channels in there. I'm going to take that brush down to, down to 30 just to be safe. Cut away those little channel, channels. Do that all the way down. And then we're going to cut away this here. And then I can come back in here and, you know, the intent would be to blend that in with this little rugged hill here. Now let's see if we can change to this elevation here, trim that back, make sure that it's nice and straight. And I'm going to cl complete this process all the way around each one of these little segments. So I'll come in, smooth out the land, tear it down with a bulldozer, grab our little road alleyway, and come across here and reconnect on the other side. Uh, but we have to get the little um, key wall mechanic to fire up, so it, it may take a little may take a little adjusting. So bear with us while we go ahead and do this.
Okay, now we've got our space all set up to start putting in some residential. I like it. Now, I think the next thing we want to do is we want to figure out a way to connect this roundabout over here to this road up in here. And I want to do so in a way that maybe feels a little bit more organic, um, a little less structured and formed. So let's just grab a medium road here, a four-lane divided road. And let's start a nice little kind of a meander that comes down in here. I want it to run along ultimately, you know, kind of parallel to this, this inside road down here just for a little bit and go to about here. A lot of guidelines going on there. Okay, let's do that. All right. So now if I come in here, yeah, that's going to be a little bit too sharp. Let's let's make this a nice little gentle windy road that comes out, comes down. We're going to bend this down into here and then come into this space here. So I'll just put on a regular curve, a single curve, go 180, and then connect that right into there. Uh, and then let's see here. So this is the roundabout we want to attach to. I think this can go straight for just a little bit. We'll just bring that out. Uh, then I can start meandering that back up toward our roundabout. And in fact, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll come out here like this, and then I'll serpentine that back into the center of that roundabout there. So that should put it right about there. And that's going to, you know, give it a little bit more of a, you know, of an organic flow as opposed to being so structured and rigid like this is down here. So the next thing I want to do is I want to build out this space in here. This is going to be our commercial district. We need to have lots of shopping for the folks here in the Yacht Club area. And so the first thing I want to do is, is grab a, I'm going to grab a couple of assets. One is going to be this crematorium. I want to have this crematorium in here because I think it's this, this you know, elegant old building that uh, is kind of stately. And from there, we can build a nice little plaza. And in that plaza, that's going to be home to our little fire station. I think that might work. There we go. Yeah, and so there's going to be a nice... So we can put in a couple little plazas here and here, and then maybe, I don't know, this, maybe this will be some center shops. And I want to make sure that we have a nice entryway that comes in off of our major road here. So we'll, we'll drop... We'll come out of here. That's the center point. And then we'll bend that in to our arterial road here. So that's 36 by 40. That's pretty darn close. Yeah. And that's going to allow us to put in a bunch of shops and, and stores down through this whole section down here. Okay, now with our little commercial district in, uh, in play, I want to come over here. I've already put in a roundabout here. I extended into this road here. And so I want to grab this, you know, this little intersection here. And I want to take a road and just bring that all the way back into here. Uh, because we're going to put in our low density residential in here. But it's going to be very large home sizes. Uh, let's come back in and terraform away some of these trees again uh, that we put in. And then I want to create a space for our elementary school. Because we, we said we we're going to put an elementary school in back here. And uh, I want to make sure we've got room for that. It's a pretty good size asset, as I recall, elementary school. And then if we center that up on that road, that's a pretty good look. And, you know, it's it's up there above the freeway, which is fine because elementary school doesn't require a quiet little, quiet little area in which to be. And that's okay. We're going to come out now. We've got our elementary school in place. We're going to come out here. And we're going to run a road out straight here. And then I want to take and bend that. All right, uh, and, and so now I've got a little neighborhood that's kind of forming up down here. Now, as we look at the space, we're going to need to get power into this space. So the next thing, next area I want to tackle is this area down in here. Uh, but I think we need to put our transformer station in. So let's do this. Oh, look at that. There's a huge power line running right through the middle of this. So let's grab a transformer station. Haha. Huh. Look at that. That's going to work almost perfectly in that space, isn't it? 
So it's connected now to that, that main power line that's running underground to get to these towers. So let's do this. Let's take, let's take this elevation and we'll bring this kind of down into here. Create a nice little valley that curves up there. Yeah, we can even give our college a name, something like, uh, uh, we'll bring in this elevation here. Let's grab that college. So if I get this nice and close into there, yeah, I lost a couple of trees in the process, but I think we gained uh, a beautiful vista. Okay, with our college up on this little ridge, let's drop in our high school. And I think I want the high school to be right around in here somewhere because I want to make sure that we have room behind it for the football stadium. So if I come in here, keep it up against that ridge line, and let's just put it, uh, let's say right about there. Then let's see what happens if we select the high school football field. Oh, look at that. It does. It just fits right in there. So I think that's going to be the ideal uh, location for that. Now, I don't want to put that high school in just, uh, that football field in just yet, but I will have the high school in. Okay, yeah, that's going to start to fill in nicely. And I think this feels like a really good time for a detailing time lapse because I've got a lot of work to do to add a lot of character and flair into this area. When it's all said and done, I think it's going to be a super elegant neighborhood. And, uh, you know, it's just, it, we've got just such a long ways to go. We're going to have to wait for a lot of these buildings to spawn in. And then I'm going to do something really decorative with this you know, with this nice jetty that comes out here. We'll put an artistic piece out here on the end just to call attention to the area. And then we'll drop in our marina into this space over here. Uh, I've got a lot of densification that I need to do with respect to buildings in the area to really flesh it out and make it feel like a, a lively, vibrant neighborhood. So let's go ahead and dive into that uh, time lapse now and we'll catch you on the other side. All right, enjoy.
<laughs> Welcome back. And I give you Pangasas Bay Yacht Club. This district was a lot of fun to do. And, and you know, we tried to start out with an objective of building a beautiful, elegant, upscale neighborhood. And I think we've accomplished that task. There is so much to get to in this area. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start down here in the bottom right. We needed a college in our city, and we finally got one. Our college is sitting in this little flat plateau here, just overlooking our bridge entrance over to Roughneck Isle. I think it ended up being a great space for that. We framed it up with some nice little elegant gardens, really just kind of mirrored what was going on in the existing asset. Brought those into play across the street. And then tucked in behind it, you have your high school, because we wanted to make sure we have a high school in the region just to continue the education process for all of our new residents in Pangasas Bay. All right, then you've got your matching neighborhoods here that sit astride this dry riverbed here, which is a good mix. You've got some row housing down along the shore, and then you've got some medium density European that sits in the middle here. And I think those are an elegant style building that helps to densify the area. And then of course you've got, you know, giving rise to some of these higher buildings that are sitting in the background here, these high density residentials that are kind of more of your condo towers that are overlooking the bay. I think there's a, there's a beautiful view from up there. All right, so then we'll transition down to our next section here, which is our pier neighborhood. And we just pushed our, our shoreline ever so gently out and made these little canals, these little inlets, and, and set our you know, medium density homes right along that. There's some cute little row houses in there with some medium density mixed in. And you've got a good mix of North American and European medium density buildings that kind of flesh out the space. Give it a little extra density in this space. We need more people. And then tucked in behind it is our larger, low density residential area, larger lot sizes. I kind of think that these are, are going to end up being some of the estates as they continue to level up in the space. They should be beautiful and elegant. And then you've got an elementary school to support the education in the area as well. Sliding right along into our shopping district, we've got this wonderful plaza that's kind of a jewelry look, if you will, almost like a necklace that runs right through the middle of it. And uh, it's, you know, it's got on either end of it, you've got this old crematorium and then you've got this old firehouse. And I wanted a couple of old signature buildings that just sat in that space, added some additional character. We also did some creative landscaping in here just to add some details, just to, um, you know, again, add some interest for the eye as people are coming into the area. I think it'll end up being a great space for people to come and spend the day walking around in the shopping district and hitting all the upscale shops. All right. And then and there's something I want to share with you guys, too. This little radio mast here with us. I used one of the existing assets that was on the map. I just relocated over here. So I envision this is our little harbor master's office where the ships are calling in to find out what slip they're supposed to use in the marina. And he's radioing back out there just to let them know where they're going. And you can't have a harbor master without, of course, having a marina. You have to have a marina. And now we've got the Yacht Club here. And the Yacht Club, I think, turned out great. We used our rock star musician mansion here with some beautiful gardens uh, you know, behind it and down along the shore here. We've got some tennis courts on one side. We've got the swimming pool on the other side. And of course, this beautiful oval that, uh, you know, allows for maybe drop off and pick up. Maybe there's a valet service and, and so forth. Plenty of slips here inside the marina. We shallowed out that water just a little bit. I think that turned out beautifully. And then, of course, the star of the show is our top five design here. This is our breakwater and sculpture piece, really. It is, <laughs> it was quite the work. And, you know, just to dive right in here, what did we do? We created three ships that are heading out to sea. You can see that with our cable stay bridges as the sails, if you will. And then I used the little walkway uh, retaining wall effect here to build up the sides of the ships. And those three ships are putting out to sea. You can see that uh, with the wake trailing behind them. And we spent a lot of time just in decor elements here to give this a, a frothy, you know, churning wake look that was, uh, you know, trailing behind these three ships as they headed out to sea. You know, I wanted to create something that was unique and beautiful and so that the whole world could see that Pangasus Bay is a nautical village, a nautical city that's got, you know, good sailing routes. And this is an elegant sculpture to really, really beautify the, uh, beautify the city. All right. Well, that's going to conclude our episode for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. It was an absolute blast, and I'm so glad you spent your time with us here today. We, as a reminder, are a new channel. 
And if you saw something that you liked today, make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest here from Pegasus Bay and the Grand Vanilla series. Make sure to leave a comment. You know, tell us what you liked about the build today. Tell us where we had opportunities lost. We'd love to hear from you. And with that, I'm going to bid you a fond farewell. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.